In this tutorial, we will be going over the entirety of custom fields, how to create them, what parameters are required, and using them on both the admin and user interfaces. By the end of this video, you will be able to declare custom fields, call and get information on specific custom fields, and allocate them to specific users. First things first, let's take a look at the admin folder's code. I have a single HTML and JavaScript file, very similar to the previous custom field tutorial. The difference is, I will not be creating custom fields on the developer's dashboard, but simply from the marketplace's admin's input. The source code will be available in the description, and the majority of it is very straightforward. All it does is take an input from the admin's interface, create an implementation's custom field, and stores its data. The interesting thing about custom fields is that even if they are created on the admin interface, they can be accessed and located on the user's interface. Before going to the user interface to show you guys its functionality, let's take a look at the user size code. Again, the user source code can be found in the description as well. It contains a single JavaScript file as well as three PHP files, similar to that of the previous custom field tutorial. Please note that the admin token and call API PHP files are identical to the previous tutorials. Looking over the script, what this basically does is, once the document is loaded, it will locate the exact custom fields created by the admin, and if any exists, display them at the bottom of the page. As a user, you are able to then check and select which custom fields you want to create on your specific account for your own personal use. How it does so is, the custom field PHP file creates user custom fields rather than implementation custom fields after obtaining both the admin ID and admin token. That means that no matter which user is logged in, the admin ID and admin token can be obtained to perform these functions but are not displayed to the user itself. Although every custom field must be initialized with a value, this plugin does absolutely nothing with those values. That is where the flexibility and functionality of custom fields come in. As a developer, you are able to manipulate and implement various data based on whatever intention you seek. Custom fields are very dynamic in their nature, so their functions and implementations are limitless. Let's take a look at the actual front end of the plugin. Please note that no CSS was used for this plugin, therefore certain text or divisions may be out of place. I have already installed the plugin onto my marketplace. Every time I type in data and click save, the plugin generates a new marketplace custom field. Let's create three custom fields called 1, 2, and 3, and go over to the user site interface to see what happened. On any user account except for guests, scroll all the way down to your marketplace's homepage and you'll see the created custom fields as well as checkboxes. Before I move on, let me go to Postman to show you which custom fields this certain merchant on my marketplace currently has. Right now, this account only has two custom fields associated with it. Going back to the marketplace homepage, if I select one, two, but not three and click create, it will generate two custom fields. Note that if I were to reselect already created custom fields, nothing would happen. Therefore, if I were to keep one and two selected, but select three as well, I will see that one and two have not changed on Postman, but a new custom field called three has been created. Now you know how flexible custom fields can be, and how to implement them on both the admin and user interfaces. In the next tutorial, I will be going over custom tables on Arcadius platform, which is, in a sense, another form of data manipulation.